What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome to today's episode of Spawn Guides, the series where I cover all the most common spawns and how they behave on every map in Call of Duty Ghosts for domination. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the map Mutiny from the Invasion DLC. Let's get into it. Alright, so once again, we have a map where they just kind of threw spawns all over the map, it seems like, and it's kind of weird just looking at the spawn map right now. We do have the spawns that you would expect on the outside edges of the map, but then we have some odd spawns that are kind of pushed up towards the middle of the map. These are the spawns that can cause a few issues, and these are the ones that you should be paying the most attention to in this video. For the A flag, it's actually quite surprising there are only three spawns that are specifically attached to the A flag, although they also use some shared spawns quite a bit as well. But these are the only three spawns that you will only spawn at if you only hold the A flag, if that makes any sense. So we have one that's actually inside the ship, like wherever the captain's quarters or whatever you call that area of the ship. Uh, then we have one that is your main spawn when you start the match. It's just right out in the open on that big, uh, big area with that cannon hanging down. And then we have one that is just on the other side of the A flag, just behind those crates there. And this one actually is really easy to get blocked off if anybody's pushing from over by the B flag direction. Now since the A flag only has those three spawns attached to it, it is fairly easy to flip the spawn out from the A flag to a different flag. So if you have enemies that are spawning at the A flag and you have one or two of your guys that push up into the A spawn area, it's very likely that they're going to flip to the other side of the map. Moving on to B, we have four spawns that are specifically attached to the B flag and then once again it uses those shared spawns as well, but we'll, co we'll cover those near the end of the video. So these spawns are very very straightforward except for one. So there are the three that are along the edge of the map. Those behave exactly how you'd expect them to behave. And then there's one that's kind of pushed up a little bit more towards the middle of the map. This is the one you kind of have to pay a little bit of attention to. Uh, this is one where if you spawn here and you hold the B flag, it's very likely you have enemies that are pushing up somewhere around the B flag area and they're blocking those other spawns off. It's very, very likely that's what's happening. You will also get this spawn if you have teammates that are pushing up on the map and it doesn't necessarily mean that there is a guy in your spawn at the B flag. But for the most part, that's typically what happens. On the other end of that, if the enemy team holds a B flag and you push into their spawn, just be aware that they might spawn really close to you and you might not expect it. You might not expect that spawn. You might think that you flipped them completely out of the B flag spawns, but there's still that one that they can sort of hang on to. Now for C, we have five spawns that are attached to the C flag, and they're actually spread out quite nicely, and they all behave probably the best out of all of them. Uh, they're really predictable, they're all sort of along the back edge of the map, and there's nothing that's really too crazy about these spawns. The one that you might want to pay a little bit of attention to is the one underneath the dock, it's in the bottom right corner as you're looking at it right now. That's just not really a place that you would expect people to spawn a lot of the time, since it is kind of between C and A, and it's kind of in a weird spot because it is underneath the dock. So just be aware of that one. But for the most part, these ones behave exactly how you'd expect them to behave. All right, so finally, let's cover the three shared spawns on this map. Now, first, let's talk about the one between B and C on the top left corner of the screen. This is one that is very easy to anchor to if you only hold the B flag. It's very easy to anchor to if you only hold the C flag and your teammates are pushing towards B. Or if you hold B and C, this is a very common spawn. So this one is pretty straightforward. There's not a whole lot to know about it. Just know that if you only hold the B flag, you can easily spawn here. If you only hold the C flag, you can also easily spawn here. Now for the next one, let's cover the bottom left one between B and A sort of, but more towards the bottom of the map. Uh, this one is actually relatively common if you only hold the A flag. And it will also happen if you only hold the B flag. But for the most part, once again, if you hold B and A, this is a pretty common spawn. Now finally, for the one spawn that is pretty much right in front of the ship in the middle of the map, this is a relatively rare spawn, but you will spawn here mainly if you hold the A flag. I have seen people spawn here when they only held the B flag, but for the most part, it's just an A spawn that is somewhat of a shared spawn as well. Remember, like I said, it's quite rare, and the reason for this is it's pretty much right out in the open in the middle of the map, so it's almost always blocked by a line of sight. So that's going to cover the spawns for Mutiny. For the most part, the spawns are pretty good, but just keep in mind there are those couple spawns that are towards the middle of the map. There's that one B spawn, as well as the final shared spawn that I talked about. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.